Hey guys, ignore how reflective my glasses are. It's annoying, I know, but I need them, so what else can we do? Um, but yeah, hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas day one. So first of all, can we start by talking about how cool that intro is? I did not make that. I got that on Fiverr. I did not make that intro myself. But yeah, I love it so much. Like, it's so much better than I even imagined. Um, so I will link the girl who did it in the description because I'm so obsessed with it, I love it. And I love that she even included the dogs. I think that's so cool. But yes, you heard me right. This girl is gonna be attempting a Vlogmas. So happy 1st of December. Welcome to Vlogmas day one. Of course, I'm gonna kick off the vlog with an advent calendar. So this is the one I've got. It is a Kinnerton one. I get Kinnerton ones every year, not only because they're not safe, but because I feel like I guess my view on chocolate advent calendars is I can eat dairy milk all year round. You know, I can eat Galaxy all year round, Malteser, you know, you can eat that stuff all year round. But this, there's something about a Kinnerton advent calendar. I guess it maybe tastes like childhood, I don't know. But there's something about a Kinnerton advent calendar. It's just a taste that you can only get in a Kinnerton advent calendar at Christmas. That probably doesn't make sense, but it's just a taste you can only get this time of year in a Kinnerton advent calendar. So of course I'm gonna kick off the vlog by opening that. But yeah, then I'm gonna grab something to eat because I'm hungry. I think I want porridge. And then I am going to sit down and do my guided prayer, write in my prayer journal, do the daily refresh on the Bible app and um, write out the devotional and stuff. And then it's gonna get really festive because then we're gonna go decorate my room. We're gonna put the tree up, I'm gonna be attempting to put the tree up by myself for the first time ever. So that should be fun. Usually my dad does it for me. And I'm also gonna be attempting to do the lights by myself as well. Which, again, my mum or my dad usually do for me. So, it's a day of firsts. First time putting the tree up by myself. So, yeah, it's gonna get really festive later. Gonna decorate my room, set up my tripod in there, and obviously film it for you guys. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. And I'm gonna open my advent calendar and go grab some food. Okay, where's day one? There it is. Ignore my nails, I'm gonna try and repaint them later tonight. I forgot yesterday. I was gonna do them yesterday in preparation for Vlogmas, but I forgot. So, I'll probably do them today or tomorrow. Okay, got a, a cool looking Barbie there. Let's see what it is. can't get it out. I can never get them out. Why do they make them so hard to get out? Oh my goodness. What a great start. There we go. Okay. Got a little reindeer. How cute. Okay, I've got a nice hot bowl of porridge, which feels very needed today because it is very foggy outside, very cold. And I am now going to do my guided prayer and Bible reading. So this is the prayer journal I use, in case anyone's interested. It's from TK Maxx, but I think it's by the brand Thimble Press. So I did show this in a TK Maxx haul on my main channel, but this is what it looks like. It just has praise and thanksgiving, prayers for others, prayers for myself, what has God put on my heart today, and a verse of reflection. I love using this every day. Honestly, I found it so helpful. And I love that on certain pages it has like little, almost like stickers. And then it also has little like mini print quote kind of things through it as well. So yeah, I am going to do that and eat my porridge. So before I do my Bible reading and stuff, I thought I'd also show you the notebook that I use for that. So it's just this one I got at TK Maxx. It just says Fierce, Brave, Strong, which I love. I thought I'd also mention I like to try and highlight the verse of the day every day. So I thought I'd give a little shout out almost to these Bible highlighters. Ignore the case, one of my dogs chewed it, but hold on 
whoops, I've lost my page now. There we go. It still stands up. Like, it's one of the ones that tucks behind so it stands up. Um, but yeah, so I like to try and highlight the verse of the day every day. These are colour coded. I put it in the front of my notebook. But yeah, so I thought I'd just mention those because I love those because they're not like your generic highlighter. They're made so they don't like bleed through the pages, they don't smudge. They're kind of like a... Kind of like a waxy crayon in a way. So yeah. So I do a quick little outfit of the day. So I'm wearing my silver cross necklace that I always wear. I think that's from Amazon. I got it for my birthday a few years ago. The jumper is H&M. I think I got it last year. I actually have two of these. Fun fact, I found this one in my room when I was tidying my room recently. It was a bigger size and I forgot to send it back. So it's nice and cosy. You'll probably be seeing me in that a fair bit. And then my trusty ASOS joggers. Okay, so I'm in my room now and I'm going to start decorating, putting up the Christmas decorations and all that stuff. So I will set up my tripod and let's get started. Okay, so I figured I'd start with the tree as I feel like that's going to be the hardest part. So I feel like what I'm going to do is colour coordinate them first. I feel like that's probably the best idea, right? Since like each colour slots into a specific level of the tree, I feel like the best idea is probably to colour coordinate them, right? So I'm going to do that and you guys can enjoy a nice little time lapse. <laughs> Okay, that took way less time than I thought, so I guess now I just start assembling it. So I'll probably time lapse that as well as who knows how long I'll be here assembling this tree. I could be here all night. I'm hoping it's easy. I mean, it always looks easy when my dad does it. Surely it can't be that hard, right? It's just slotting some pieces in place, right? We'll see. <laughs> easier than I thought. Now I guess I just need to fan it all out, right? Okay. So, another time lapse then, yeah? Okay, let's go. Does that look right? <laughs> like a tree, right? <laughs> I just realised I forgot to put Christmas music on. That's better. That's the best I'm gonna get it by myself so I'm gonna put the lights and the decorations on and I will have my mum or my dad see if it looks fine when they get home so now I'm gonna to attempt to do the lights by myself which I've also never done so we'll see how this goes okay I've detangled the lights so now to attempt to put them on the tree Okay, it's not looking the best, is it? The bottom, I don't think you can see it on camera, but the bottom has basically no lights. I definitely have learned I can't string Christmas lights. So, I'm gonna leave it like that for now. 
and I'm gonna wait for my mum or my dad to come home and have them fix it because I don't think I found the tree out properly I'm honestly not sure but it looks fine for now so it'll do for now and I'm gonna start putting baubles on the baubles I'm gonna put on are like temporary baubles my mum ordered me some more but they haven't arrived yet as I don't have a lot of these ones so I'm gonna do that Thank you. 